as opposed to the opposite, which is not getting older because we, oh my gosh. Um, so hi, welcome to my channel, Bianca Skogan Beauty. I tried an eye look today. I'll put a picture on the screen like there and see, tell me how I did. <laughs> Uh, it was just fun. Having fun with makeup. That's what I do. That's why I'm doing this channel because I'm having fun with makeup. Um, I used two palettes. Um, I used the Tati palette, volume one. She doesn't have a volume two. Maybe one day. Um, and the Natasha Denona love palette. I like to go to TJ Maxx every once in a while and pick up some beauty products and show you guys how to get high quality makeup for low prices. So, that is what our video today is. Let's start with the product that is like not makeup. I got these watermelon bath bombs. I thought they were so cute. I love to treat myself and have baths with some bath bombs. See, they even have like, I guess they're not, the seeds aren't black, but they have little impressions that have seeds. Um, they were for, they're one, two, three, four, five, six, they're six bath bombs for $6.99. And I thought that was a pretty good price. Usually bath bombs, you can buy bath, like at Lush, bath bombs are over $10. Anyways, obviously these are probably not Lush quality, but it's a little over a dollar for a bath bomb. I thought that was really good. These are from Asquith and Somerset. So I've never heard of that brand, um, Juicy Watermelon Bath Fizzer Set, but they're so summery. Summery watermelon bath set. I thought that was really fun. Then I got these Shiseido. Shiseido is this like super luxury brand. They are facial cotton pads. And people were talking about these during the VIB sale that they picked these up during that sale because they're normally, oh, I shouldn't even try it. Why do I try to guess prices? Um, I will have the price in my description box, but they're normally a lot more than I got them for. I got them for $7.99. There's 165 sheets in here. Um, so, and, and I just, I hear that they are very, very soft. So, picked those up. They're gonna be real nice. Next, this is a skincare product. It is the Laneige. Last time I got something from this brand, I very miscorrectly pronounced this brand. I know better now. It is the Laneige. Glowy Makeup Serum. So during the VIB sale, they had the Glow Recipe Watermelon like glowing serum and I really wanted to pick it up, but it was, again, I'm gonna try to quote prices and I'm gonna be wrong, but it was like, I think $34 and I was like, $34 for, I mean, actually skincare is usually really pricey. So it's, it's actually probably pretty reasonable for a skincare product. I just, I actually have a good amount of serums because I get subscription boxes and they usually put skincare products in there. But just people were reviewing it and saying it was so amazing. So I hear that this is why I'm talking about that at all is I hear that this is very similar to that because it is um, glowy. It is also a glowy serum just like that one. So I'm hoping that this one is, is similar to the Glow Recipe Watermelon Serum. Also, the Glow Recipe one has a very strong watermelon scent, which can, you know, turn people off. This has no scent. My mom actually hates the smell of artificial watermelon. watermelon. I hate, and hate is a strong word, <laughs> but I hate the smell of artificial cherry. And I blame it on too much, like, cough syrup and, and artificial medicine, cherry flavored medicine as a child. Uh, so it, it just, it tastes like medicine. Candy that is cherry, I'm like, that tastes like medicine. All of my sisters hate artificial cherry. So I think we just had too much cherry flavored medicine in the 80s and 90s. I'm going to the makeup products now. This is from Stila and I really love purple. Um, I guess I have a pretty purple eye look today. This is the Heaven's Hue Highlighter. Oh, I didn't tell you how much I got the Laneige for. It is for $19.99. So it says the original price is $33. So it's not like, it's not the best deal ever. Um, it's not even half off. 
but it's better than 34. So, which was the watermelon syrup. Okay, <clears throat> Stila. Anyways, this is $7.99. And it says the compare price is 11, which I doubt that a highlighter from Stila is $11. Anyways, in my description box, I um, put all of the retail prices with all of the prices I got them at TJ Maxx. And um, from my last video that I did, I noticed when I was doing this research that a lot of these products are on sale, like at Sephora or the brand website. And so that's why they're at TJ Maxx. So, but they were all still less than the sale price. So I still did good. Okay, it has this pretty like pearly purple color. And I think that that is just really pretty. Let's swatch it. Um, I have some old swatches on my hand. This is just what I do. I, I have swatches on my hand constantly. So there it is. Really pretty. Um, and it's not, I have some really bright highlighters. So I feel like that's like in between. It's, it is a fun purple, but it's not going to be like, hi, I'm seen from space purple. So I'm really excited about that one. And it's very creamy. Um, I feel like it's kind of like a a cream to powder formula. So I like that. Okay, more purple. Okay, I have a from Lorac. This is a buildable purple blush. Actually, the next video I'm about to do is about purple blushes. And so I have this. Yay! I've been acqu slowly acquiring more purple blushes so I could do it. Stay tuned for that. So this is the Ultraviolet um, Color Source Blush in Matte or Color Source Blush Matte in Ultraviolet. Woo! And it was $2.99. I mean, it's a pretty big size. You see that? It looks like the color is kind of fading. On the outside, it is more of a red purple. And on the inside, it's more of a, I don't know, a gray purple. I wonder how old this is. It's a little bit powdery. There's our swatch right there. Interesting. Interesting. If I don't like it as blush, this can be an eyeshadow. So lovely, more purple. Um, this is from Laura Geller. I don't actually have a lot from Laura Geller brand. I have mixed feelings about the Laura Geller brand because it is kind of a mature woman brand. And like, I just heard that she is actually going to only be using women, I think it was like 40 and older, older as her models, which is interesting because there are people who are under 40, I'm 35, who buy her products. Um, but it does just kind of nail that nail in the coffin that I was right, that I thought this was a mature woman brand. Um, but I'm getting older as we all are, luckily, luckily um, as opposed to the opposite, which is not getting older because we, oh my gosh, as I am aging, I feel like this brand will probably be coming more into my makeup collection because it is supposed to have a lot of skin, helping your aging skin look better. So we'll see, we'll see. But I really thought that this would look really pretty because of that purple pop. It's an eyeshadow palette. Um, and it, so it has those nice neutrals and then a pop of color. I, I really like that. I think that that's pretty, actually there's a little purple right there. Then I got from Becca, I'm trying to, anytime there's something Becca, I'm like done because it is not the only brand that actually went out of business, mostly because of the situation in 2020. But it is like the biggest one, I guess, the one that is the most talked about. So anyways, um, this is the Put On A Glow kit and it was on clearance. So I don't know how much it was originally at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, but I'll, I'll put up the, the original retail value of it. Okay, it has three things in it. First, we have Becca's infamous um, highlighters. Shimmering Skin Perfector, which is what she calls her highlighters, in the shade Moonstone. So I do have two of her highlighters already. Two of her highlights, like the mini ones like this, that I got from Marshalls or TJ Maxx in the shade Champagne Pop and Lilac Geode. Let's see if I can hold all three of these up. Okay, so this is obviously the most pink. The middle one is Champagne Pop. The end one is, oh, Bianca's, my fingers are right in the way. Let's hold them by their mirrors and get them dirty. There we go. So 
Lilac Geode, the pinkest. This one I feel like has more of a, a warm tone and this one is just a little bit brighter. So, um, they're all different. I don't feel like I need to get any more though. And yes, they're all mini, but it's hard to go through an entire highlighter. What else did I get in this little bag? Okay. I had one of these. It is the, it is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. And I had one of these and I threw it away because it was really old. So I'm glad to have a new one. It is like a little bit of a purple shade to it so that it kind of is supposed to be brightening for dull skin. Okay, last but not least, oh, they're both primers. Well, mine gonna have really primed skin. So this is the Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. So, two primers. Um, I just, I like to pick up Becca products because they're on sale and they're, she's going out of business. Okay, last but not least, I got this Pixie by Petra Rach Loves Highlighter Collection. I, there she is, have started watching her channel. She is hilarious. She is so funny. She's witty. Um, and so, uh, she talks about this collaboration that she did and how she loves it and how she, you know, it is like a labor of love and she worked on it and she just thinks it's amazing. And I, so I, when I watched her channel and I watched her talk about it, I went on to Pixie's website and it was sold out and I was like, dang it. And it was actually kind of pricey. I think it was, what does it say? It says it's compared to $12. Now it was like $30 on Pixie's website. I got it for $8.99. So I was like, yes, I actually watched somebody else's TJ Maxx video or Marshall's video because I got it at Marshall's and they saw this and they were like, oh, that's cool. And they passed it by and I was like, I'm not passing that by because I love her. She's so cute. You guys should watch her channel. She is so funny. She's so funny. Anyway, so she made this palette. Um, you might think, I don't think it's weird that it has a purple because I love purple, but you might think it's weird that it has this purple, but she, it, it's called, oh heck, um, the layers highlighting palette. So you're supposed to be able to highlight in layers. So you start with one of these two layers based on your skin tone. So this one's for lighter skin tones. This one's for a little bit warmer skin tones, but she said she tested this on like many, many, many models of different skin tones. So she said it works on a lot of skin tones, especially because you have this one for deeper skin tones. Um, so you start with one of these, whichever works for you, and then you can layer these. So those are like toppers. I've never heard of highlighter toppers. I've heard of blush toppers, but these are highlighter toppers. Weird. So you start, I would probably start with this one and then <laughs> I would probably go to purple because I can. Um, or this one is called lace, zipper, and knit. Um, so I just thought it was really fun that you can, you can mix and match and have a good time with highlighting because I like a good glow. All right. That is all I got. I said I got that for $8.99, right? Yeah. That's all I got from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And I, you know, I always just feel like I get good makeup for good prices. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it, remember to subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me, ring the bell. Okay. Remember to be nice to yourself. Have a good day. Bye.